Hello folks, Rob AK Maximum RD here and I just wanted to do this video having noticed J-Boy Pac-Man's recent video picking up a couple more figurines in the uh, Universal Studios Classic Monsters collection where he picked up the mummy and Dracula and uh, it just got me back to thinking when uh, I was a kid you know a lot of my friends of course had stacks and stacks of comic books, Mad Magazine <laughs> Uh, etc. And not to say I didn't have my share of those also, but even more so, I had magazines like this right here. Famous Monsters, which I believe started as uh, Famous Monsters of Filmland, right there. And then there's Eerie, right there. And uh, Another famous Monsters of Filmland. There was also Creepy, uh, Vampirella, and they were all Warren Publications. Now just quickly, just a quick note here, Warren Publications was uh, an American magazine company founded by James Warren, published his first magazine in 1957 and, and continued the business for decades. Magazines published by Warren include After Hours, Creepy Eerie, Famous Monsters of Filmland, Help, and Vampirella. Okay, uh, begun by James Warren, Warren Publishing. Initial publications were the horror, fantasy, sci-fi movie magazines, Famous Monsters of Filmland, and Monster World, both edited by Forrest J. Ackerman. Now, some of you may be too young to remember. Forrest J. Ackerman, uh, who edited these magazines, uh, was later become to affectionately be known as Uncle Forry to all his fans and subscribers. Uh, a true fan of the horror genre, he, uh, you know, he edited with uh, a very uh, friendly style, and uh, was really one to uh, embrace his fans. Unfortunately, he did die uh, a little while ago. I believe it was back in 2008. However, he was 92, so he did live a long and interesting life, to say the least. Um, there's a site here I'll connect here also you can check his Wikipedia and learn all about Forrest J Ackerman as well as um, Warren publications and also famous monster of filmland which was my favorite title of all of them uh, you can read about that history there it basically went from 58 to 83 it was revived from 93 to 2008 but uh, uh, um, actually, it is actually back now. And here's the new website for Famous Monsters of Filmland. Um, so yeah, I'll include links for all of those things. And I just wanted to show you my own magazines. There's uh, Monsterland. Now this one, I don't think it's a Warren publication, but it is edited by the same editor. There we go. Um, for I think it's done by the same editor publisher, Forrest J. Ackerman yeah, right there, editor so that's cool, and here's a famous Monsters of Filmland with the Incredible Melting Man on the cover <laughs> spooky stuff this is from July 1978 and there's good old uh, Uncle Forey with uh, some character from the movies and people would write in and uh, it's just a great great magazine a lot of the behind the scenes all about the industry how they did the effects sci-fi gore uh, I, I found it fascinating because I would learn that you know for example blood and things were you know created with cornstarch and things like that so very interesting of course sci-fi related also but uh, it was great looking through the ads as a kid um, you could get everything from books to records to posters um, to full latex masks of course back issues I actually had a lot of these back as a kid there we are the latex masks I could never think of ordering any of these they were way too expensive <laughs> I mean, they're $34.95. That's, 
That's now that doesn't sound like much, right? It's a deluxe latex rubber mask. You can see the craftsmanship, thirty four ninety five. But the, you know this was back in nineteen seventy eight, so <laughs> I was a kid. I couldn't afford things like that. But I love looking through these magazines, makeup kits, all kinds of great uh, things you could pick up. Uh, later issues did revert, uh, did have some color content, at least in uh, Erie magazine. Unfortunately, this one is not in color. This is from 1974. There's a story with the mummy. There we go. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde character right there. Wolfman, Curse of the Werewolf. Great stuff. Excellent, excellent stuff. There's another famous Monsters of Filmland. <laughs> It would cover Hammer films and uh, all the popular horror movies from the day. Peter Cushing. There we go. Dinosaurs, King Kong, Frankenstein. Here's a later issue. 1980. $2 for this magazine in 1980. Famous Monsters, Star Trek movie special. There we go. Saturn 3, sci-fi. Nosferatu from Salem's Lot. I believe that's Salem's Lot. Looks like it. Yep, Salem's Lot. And uh, yeah, just uh, a lot of great memories looking through these magazines and learning how they did all the effects and just loving every minute of it. Warren Publications. Once again, there's my magazines, Famous Monsters, Eerie, another Famous Monsters, and Monster Land. I'm really sorry. I wish I had a issue of Creepy to show you or Vampirella. Vampirella, the hot, sexy vampire. Um, people like Elvira can attribute uh, <laughs> what, uh, you know, they can uh, attribute their persona and personality way back to characters like Vampirella. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to do an update on my browser right now <laughs> and uh, sign off. So remember to check out the description and check out all the links to learn more about Warren Publication family of horror magazines as well as the great Forrest J. Ackerman, Uncle Forey, and uh, learn more about the history and tell me what you think. Did you collect any of these horror or sci-fi magazines? Did you, um, or were you into that sort of thing as a kid or even now as an adult? Let me know. And this is Rob Maximum RD out with this video dedicated to J-Boy Pac-Man. Talk to you later.